this is like the fourth time that I've tried to record this intro and I keep jacking it up every single time. So, uh, yeah, just got finished watching the Peanuts movie. Um, when the trailers for this thing first came out, I was a little dubious, uh, because it, lifting something that was originally supposed to have been, uh, not supposed to have been, that originally was mm -hmm. a comic, uh, from still frames to animation was something that was already done to the Peanuts IP. Anybody who's 20 years of age or older, uh, has probably watched some kind of Peanuts special. They're still watchable. I, I mean, the Peanuts cartoons are still are still watchable. The Peanuts comics are, are still very, very readable. But um, someone felt the need to go and, and refresh it again for the current generation. 3D animation, etc., etc. And, and uh, I really had uh, a problem with that and a great deal of worry with that. There are some things that don't need to be brought forward uh, into this generation. Uh, part of their uh, uniqueness and their quality comes from the era uh, that they uh, that they came from. And I think that Peanuts is no exception to that. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the short version, which is not short at all as it turns out, is that uh, I just had a chance to watch the movie. Are my fears well founded? Well, I'm not sure about well-founded, but mm, this is a rental. I feel bad <clears throat> calling this uh, a rental, even though that's exactly what I think that it is, uh, because it does sort of betray some of the achievement that is clearly visible when you watch this movie. Um, there's a lot of... I don't even know if I'd call it Uncanny Valley. I'm, I'm rambling on here about the art style. There's a lot of Uncanny Valley uh, to be had in this movie from the simple standpoint that there are certain dimensions that Schultz drew the Peanuts characters in when they were flat on the page. And the cartoons had the benefit of 2D and continuing to play with those dimensions, and so they look normal. Uh, and of course, when you bring things into 3D, all of that changes. Uh, and I actually have read several articles online uh, about the difficulty that they had uh, bringing the various Peanut characters into 3D because of how jacked up their heads would look uh, from a proportion standpoint uh, if they actually tried to render them in 3D. All of that aside, uh, I honestly have to say that the visual fidelity of Schultz's work is remarkably well maintained in the vast majority of uh, of the movie. the The only part visually about the movie that I don't particularly care for at all is the fact that uh, they clearly gave up trying to do some of the backgrounds. Either they, uh, I'm assuming that they gave up. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they gave up, rather than somebody stylistically thought it would be a good idea to put Schultz's style of art on top of photorealistic backgrounds. It's just, it's jarring, uh, and it doesn't work. And in the parts of the movie where it happens, uh, it leaps out and hits you in the face with a baseball bat, uh, and you it, it takes you out of the uh, experience as a whole. But that's really the only uh, that's really the only part. The rest of the movie is just, uh, visually, it's remarkably well done. Um, from an acting standpoint, uh, you know, the voice, there, there are a bunch of kids. Um, the, the, the voice actors all did fine. Um, uh, Snoopy and Woodstock uh, were all expertly done. Um, they're they're uh, probably the high point uh, of the whole movie. The sound effects for Snoopy and Woodstock have always been my favorite part of all those things. And, uh, that never uh, that never changes. Uh, they, they, whoever they got to do the sound effects in this movie are spot on. Uh, the sound effects are really, really good. Um, as far as plot, you, you can't really ask for a whole lot of plot from a Charlie Brown movie. Uh, and in fact, the plot to this one is relatively simplistic. It is so simplistic that they sort of split the plot into two. Uh, there's the main plot of the movie. 
uh, involving Charlie Brown trying to impress the new red-headed girl that lives across the street. Uh, and the other plot is told entirely from Snoopy's point of view. Uh, he's trying to write a story, uh, and uh, his story revolves around the Red Baron aspects of him flying his doghouse around, and that's kind of cute. Uh, but you can tell that there, de <laughs> there definitely wasn't uh, <clears throat> there definitely wasn't nearly enough of the main story written. Uh, they fall back on the Red Baron plot a lot uh, more, more I think maybe than they should have. But um, no, uh, you know it's it's a it's a cute movie and the kids will enjoy it uh, completely and totally safe for them. Um, and it's a it's a it's a, a fun watch if you were a fan um, from uh, of the Peanuts comics and uh, um, of the old Peanuts cartoons. What uh, I absolutely cannot get over, and what I have to call out here, um, uh, is that Lucy's a bitch. Uh, I there's, I know that it's supposed to be a children's movie, uh, but Lucy is just an absolute. Uh, she's a horrible person, and this this whole movie, I guess, would maybe be the one, uh, one of the two downsides that I would have to like let your kids watch this movie. Lucy's an awful individual. She's a horrible human being, and you only get, like, bite size. You only get, like, little bite-sized amounts of Lucy being this this frigid ice queen of a child uh, in the comics. And, and it's, you know, delightful, you know, ah, ha, 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 Lucy's, you know, being Lucy. No, but you know what? When, there's, when you've got, like, an hour, an hour and a half long of her just continually running into the middle of things and cutting Charlie Brown off of the way. It's, it's, you, it stops being cute and you start legitimately going, wow, you know what, you are a... I, I, I feel guilty calling her anything more than... Uh, 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 yeah, so... <laughs> this is a children's icon and I'm about ready to slap a sailing moniker on her. Um, but no, it's horrible. It really, really is. Uh, the other thing uh, that I... Is, um, really uh, sort of jarring about this movie is Peanuts uh, was always handed to you in little, uh, you know, again, little bite-sized chunks. There's a great deal of tragedy uh, that is the existence of Charlie Brown. Uh, and they concentrate that, and it's just, this whole movie is one gigantic ass-kicking after another for this whole character. Um, and of course, of course, anybody with half a brain knows what the payoff at the end of the movie is going to be. And when the payoff comes, it's just about perfect. Um, uh, it, 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 it's, uh, you know, it's <clears throat> it's exactly what you thought it was going to be, all those pivotal moments where Charlie Brown's getting his teeth kicked in. You know, they're actually teaching a lesson and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, in that respect, yeah, you know, you have your kids watch it. You know, they'll, they'll learn lessons and, you know, this and that and the other. But holy moly. The beginning of the movie is great, the end of the movie is great, but everything in between is Charlie Brown taking an ass kicking and Lucy being a stone cold bitch. I, I, she's so much so that in the end, spoiler alert, uh, in the end when the credits are rolling, they, they, they do the football gag again. And Charlie Brown actually calls her out on it, going, no, you're, you're going to pull that thing out from under me, and, and we're going to do what we do every single time. And, and, and of course, Lucy gives him a spiel about, you know, how she's, she's changed, having seen the new Charlie Brown, and blah, blah, of course, she yanks the football. And, and uh, uh, you know, in addition to all those other nice things that I said about you, Charlie Brown, you're also still gullible as balls. Um, and... <laughs> You know, it's endearing in the comics from time to time, but after after an hour and a half of watching her beat Charlie Brown like <laughs> like the redheaded girl that lives next door, ah, uh, I just just not funny anymore. You just she's just an evil, cold-hearted little girl. Um, and yeah, that's my Peanuts movie review. It's possible that I need gold medicine.